For this upcoming project, you'll need a partner. Ooh, yes! Benjamin, you and me. Sorry, Connor. The last time you and Benjamin were partners, you got absolutely nothing done. You'll work with Charlotte. No! I can't believe Mrs. Alfheim is making us work together. What is she thinking? I mean, doesn't she realize we despise each other? We don't despise each other. I despise you. You don't despise me. Yes, I do. Oh, come on, Charlotte. I'm not despisable. You are. It's despicable, you idiot. Mrs. Alfheim, Charlotte is becoming verbally abusive. Mrs. Alfheim, why do I have to work on this project with Charlotte? Can't I get another partner? I think it'll be good for you to work with someone like Charlotte. Perhaps some of her good study habits will rub off on you. What? No! No rubbing! It's an expression, Connor. No rubbing, you hear? Oh, Don. Well, we might as well accept it. We're partners on this project whether we like it or not. Just don't drag me down to your level. Got it? My level? Hey, I resent that. Listen, Charlotte, if we get a lousy grade on this project, it won't be my fault. I'm not some clueless screw-up who's going to drag you down. Fine. Meet me in the library after school. No can do. I've got detention. Doing this project with you is going to kill my grade point average. I know it. Charlotte, will you shut up? All you do is whine about how this affects you. What about how it affects me? Being seen with an egghead like you could cost me some major street cred with my homies from the detention puzzle. Wassa! Wassa up. Okay, our topic is the Boston Massacre. You know what that was, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. Although you seem to think I am, I'm not worthy to work on a project with Charlotte the Genius. Three hardy Connor. We're stupid. We're stupid Charlotte Smart. Three. <sighs> hey Gerald, we're stupid. Yes, I know. Connor. Hmm? Maybe you could stop playing games on your phone and work on our report, fool. Don't call me fool, Charlotte. I'm not a fool. Ask anyone. Ask the teachers. Ask the guidance counselor. They all say the same thing. I've got unlimited potential and can do outstanding work if I applied myself. They wouldn't waste their time telling me to do better if they didn't think I could. In other words, you're a disappointment to everyone. Exactly. That proves how smart I am. My head hurts. You're probably working too hard. Dang, look at that stack of books, Charlotte. Why do you have to be such a brainiac all the time? Because I happen to have a mind, fool. I'd certainly rather be smart than stupid. Are you implying that I'm stupid, Charlotte? Because I'm not. I'm plenty smart. I'm just not so obvious about it. Yes, you're hiding it well. Hey, your outline is actually pretty good. Well, you don't have to act so surprised. Just because I end up in detention every now and then, Charlotte, you've got me pegged as a sort of slow-witted juvenile delinquent. But those are just labels, okay? Labels. And it isn't fair to go around slapping labels on people. Eggheads like you do that all the time. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm working on our paper. You're copying stuff right out of the book. You can't do that. You've got to use your own words. I am. Look here. The book says however. I've replaced that with but. Which, by the way, has only one T. And here instead of autocratic, I put jerky. History is full of so many mysterious characters. Like Crispus Attucks. Was he a hero, or the ringleader of a drunken mob? Here's my question about Crispus Attucks. If you worked at an orchard, would you call him Apple Crispus? That's a good one. I'll add that to our footnotes. What's that? Take a wild guess, Charlotte. It's my half of our report. 
You finished it early? It's not due till the 7th. The 7th? No way, Charlotte. It's due to second. Today. What? Wait a... Oh no. I wrote a 2, but it looks like a 7. Oh man, Charlotte, you're gonna make us fail. You screwed up! Ah, uh, Mrs. Alfheim. <coughs> um, Connor and I... Uh, we weren't able to finish our report. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Frankly, I could have predicted this. But I had hoped, Connor, that being paired with Charlotte might make you a bit more responsible. What? But, now now, Charlotte, don't defend him. Ah, uh, Mrs. Alfine? It's not Connor's fault our report is late. I'm the one who got the due date wrong. That's true, Mrs. Alfheim. Charlotte had a major brain cramp. But I did my half. Here's my section, right on time. Connor, trying to make yourself look good at the expense of others is a very unattractive quality. But, but, uh, Thank you for your honesty, Charlotte. You two may hand in your completed report tomorrow. Connor, you'll receive credit for finishing your section on time. And Charlotte, I expected more of you. Dang, Charlotte, are you lucky? Alfheim didn't even yell at you. I know. That's what made it so awful. How'd you and Charlotte do on your report? We got a B, but we would have got an A if Charlotte had finished her section on time. And the worst part is that at first, Alfheim assumed it was my fault. She thought I was the one who screwed up the due date. That woman hates me, but why? For what reason? What have I ever done to that fat sow? Uh, 